hi guys welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for clicking so basically today we're going to handle the second part of the enterprise networking project file and as you can remember the first part that we did we managed to draw a diagram the network topology using microsoft vision we were supposed to model or visualize the network topology using microsoft vision and through that guys we used microsoft vision as you can see here to draw the network topology as per the requirement guys so suppose you not watch this class like guys i will leave a link on the description part of the video click the link and get yourself understanding how we did the first part of this project then come back to the second part that uh, we are doing right now so that you can have full understanding right okay guys so also if you're new to this channel or even if you have not subscribed to our channel kindly guys we really plead with you click on subscribe button like our video and let's know what i'm thinking on the comment section all right guys so basically guys there are some guys so basically guys the other people who always want these projects you see they always need this pdf or maybe the microsoft visual file and probably the package of file when we shall have uh, completed this work okay so suppose you need this file guys you have to become a, a member you have to be a channel member so just go to our channel guru tech and you click on this join button okay then you choose any level here you can be a member you can be a gtech contributor gtech pro just those three okay and as you can see a member just pay only 1.49 dollars right all right so if you need any file any resource can we just be a member right okay guys so guys without any further ado let's begin our project all right so we have a company here guys as we read it in our previous project the part one of this project there's a company that is intending to open a branch in Africa and basically it's, to, it's, it's to be located in Nairobi, Kenya and the company has secured a four-story building to operate within the Kenyan capital okay and you know it has departments as shown here right all right plus the floors so there are almost uh, four floors plus um, and in each floor there are three departments okay so a total of um, 12 departments right okay and here are the requirements that we are required to implement remember in the pattern of this project we achieved requirement one which was to model the network topology using ms vision okay and then in this uh, part two of the project we are going to implement from requirement two down to requirement 10 of which we are going to use a simulation software such as a cisco packet tracer or gns3 okay guys so we are just going to read everything and implement as per the requirement right and first we're just going to design the network topology using cisco packet tracer and guys this one is going to take uh, less time because we've already done it on microsoft visual so we're just going to copy what we did here on packet tracer guys as you can see we have four routers and four layer three switches so guys let's begin so i'll just say this is our cisco packet tracer i'll just say enterprise networking project five okay and uh, give it a background color let's say of a uh, something like that of that color okay okay guys so we can just start uh, to draw this topology from Microsoft Visual we're just going to copy everything that uh, we did uh, under pattern of the project to our packet tracer so I'll just place four routers routers choose 2911 routers I'll just switch four of them we're going to do it very fast because we did it in the first part in the part one of the project okay and um, 
layer 3 switches left and right just choose uh, you can choose any but I'll just choose try to choose 3650 you can choose any that you like in my case I've chosen 3650 okay and uh, also we go back to our visual and see how many departments we had we had uh, 12 departments each floor three departments so each layer three switch three departments so for the departments we use layer two switches so this is department one two and three okay so guys as you can see here the topology on uh, Paketesa is uh, becoming sim similar to the topology on Microsoft Visual okay what we've not done is just to the cabling and uh, the host devices so I'll do the cabling faster between the routers we'll use uh, serial cables and you know by default let me just choose connection then you take this serial DC right when I take the serial DC and click on here, you won't see any serial interface. I mean, okay. So what do you do? You include that model on the routers. So just click on the router. Under physical here, there's a button here. You see something like one, zero, and a minus. Just click on the zero. Then drag this HWIC2T to M to any empty slot. I mean. And then turn on the router again then come here and do the same turn off the router drag the serial model turn on the router again click here turn off the router drag the serial model then turn on the router again here turn off the router drag the serial model and turn on the router again okay so there are serial interfaces here so if I take this cable and click here you will see there is serial here and just click it and come here and place there okay so as you can see we have connected uh, the routers using serial connection okay and you know for full mesh we need to connect the routers this one to this one and this one to this one okay all right because let's say if this link is down and this one is down this router here has lost connection to both the route uh, to the routers okay so we must also include another connection from this point to this point so how are we gonna do that you know router to router we can use a crossover cable or if you like you can just add an another serial connection you just turn off this one and you add another serial model okay you click there right but in this case guys i'm not going to use a serial model connection again between the routers so what i'm gonna do is to use a normal crossover cable okay so i just take crossover cable click here and take uh, that one come here and take that one then another one come here take the first one come here and take the first one so it's okay guys so what we're gonna do is to connect layer 3 switches to the routers and for redundancy guys we have to include uh, we have to make sure that each switch is connected to both routers okay all right so just take uh, automatic now click this one to this one then this one to this one right okay guys so as you can see we have connected uh, the core layer to the distribution layer okay so we have connected the core layer to the distribution layer right so let's connect distribution layer to access layer as you can see here on the Microsoft Visual 
right and for redundancy at least uh, a switch should be connected to two layer three switches so i'll do that one very fast to save time Okay guys, so as you can see we have connected uh, the access layer to the distribution layer and also distribution layer to the core layer, okay? The core layer at the center, distribution layer at both sides and the access access layer I mean on both sides also. Alright, so let's check on the Microsoft Visual. As you can see, it's uh, quite similar to what you have on the Microsoft Visual here. And basically what's remaining now is to connect uh, the host devices and do the naming as you can see on the microsoft visual the naming is a uh, it's okay and all the devices are connected <laughs> so we'll connect a pc a printer and an access point at every department and do the naming okay so let me do that one very very fast to save time okay all right so let's start with uh, the first uh, department so a printer and an access point so an access point will come to wireless and uh, can just take this one no problem so the printer let it be there okay Okay guys, so as you can see, I have connected all the host devices in the network, but I'm forgetting something here, as you can see, the last switch was connected to the servers, which was our server room department, see here, so I'll remove the PCs plus the printers and replace them with servers, the three one, okay, so just a minute. Uh, as you can see now we have connected all the host devices to the switches as you can see every department is represented here so basically what is remaining is just to to do the naming which I will do very fast I will do the naming I start with the call layer then distribution layer and finally access layer and the host devices so let's say this is flow one router sorry flow one router so i copy and say this is flow two router flow four. okay all right so let's go to access uh, switches I mean my layer switches, layer 3 switches and say this is floor 1, layer 3 switch, layer 3 switch, I copy that, ok guys so let's move to access layer switches so that we can configure with the respective departments, so I'll go to our pdf here and uh, check so floor one we had management research and human resource i'll do that one very fast i'll say floor one floor one 
floor one management switch okay Okay guys, so basically as you can see we've done the naming of the of the networking devices both at the core layer, distribution layer and the access layer. And as you can see all the routers have been named as per the flows, all the rest switches have been named as per the flows, and finally all the access layer switches have been named as per the flow and the department for example floor 3 logistic switch floor 3 customer care switch okay all right guys so guys basically at this point let me name the host devices very very fast very fast So guys, as you can see, we are done with the naming of the end devices. And for example, a computer at the logistic uh, department will have a name like log PC, a printer log printer, and finally an access point will have a name like uh, log AP. Okay. The same applies to a computer at an uh, ICT department, ICT PC, ICT printer. ICT access point okay so as you can see guys we are done with the connecting all the devices using appropriate cables and giving them a good nom naming convention as required so basically guys what is remaining is to start configuring the topology guys the first thing that we should do before we can look at the case study before we look uh, into this case study guys the first thing that we should do on this topology is to turn up these interfaces. As you can see, they are still red red, meaning they are in shutdown state. So we need to turn them up. I'll start with the core layer. So we need to turn up these interfaces. Just click on any router, then come to config. Okay. Click on gig00, come here and turn on. Click here, turn on click here turn on click on serial that one turn on that one turn on that one turn on this one turn on then you close that one then you come to this router here you come to config and you do the same and remember we only co we only connected them to let's say these interfaces how many one two three four five so we'll just use all of them i'll just use all of them this they are connected so guys as you can see the link between the routers are are happy as you can see they are green green but why on the layer 3 side still red red just click on the layer 3 switch and guys you know what we have not added a power supply on the layer 3 switches so what do you do you just drag a power supply to any empty slot like that one and you close come back here again you drag place there and you close you come here you drag a power supply you place there and close in case you used 3650 but you know when you use uh, the other layer 3 switch is 3550 you won't drag any power supply you click on the last uh, switch 
play three switch you drag the power supply and press there and close so guys and as you can see now they are turning yeah. to orange okay all right so let's just wait so that they can turn green green and uh, we move to the next step which is very very important guys you know i just need to con to finish on this uh, cabling first that's enough that's enough so guys as you can see this head are green green everything is green here these are turning green soon just wait for them in the next 20 seconds will be green okay so guys as you can see everything has turned uh, green meaning all the parts are in forwarding state and you know because of uh, spanning tree protocol all the parts can't be uh, on forwarding state because uh, it will create loops and that's why you can see here is orange here is orange because they are in blocking state okay and in case one part will be down which is the green one one of these one will turn to green okay to be in forwarding state all right okay guys so basically what i want to do is to separate the borders remember we have the flaws we have uh, departments right so we need to separate the border so that it can know that which floor is this one which department is this one okay so let me just start i'll just click on this one and um, save the color then I'll go, i'm going to select uh, uh, just a minute okay such like a color right so i'm going to say this is floor one this is floor one okay although i'm not should i include the router i'm not going to include the router at this point somewhere there okay so that is floor one and then for floor two i choose another color color like that then one highly concentrated color so for floor two well as Start it from this point. I want to include the router at this point as per now. That's floor two. Okay. Then for floor three, I'm going to choose another color, which is not highly concentrated, like that one. Uh, let's start with the floor three up here. Plus three. Okay, that's plus three. Okay, then finally plus four. I'm going to choose another color, which is uh, I don't want highly concentrated color. Something like that. Okay, this is for plus four. Fourth floor or floor 4 in uh, layman's language so that's done guys so what i'll do is just to uh, adjust the floor very fast so as you can see here is the first floor second floor third floor and fourth floor and as you can see the boundaries the background uh, color has defined every floor okay so i'll just do the naming for example, here is first floor. I'll just do it very fast. First floor or floor one. I'll just use floor one. Uh, no problem. Let me just use first floor. Okay. And then here is second floor. Second floor. And fourth floor here. And finally here is third floor. Third floor. Okay. And uh, a little bit the boundary to separate them. I'll take yellow.
okay so guys as you can see we have defined every flow so let's do the same for departments for example on the first floor we had three departments which are management research and human research human resource i mean so i'll just use a white color yes i'll just try to use a white color yes that's that's okay Okay guys, so you can see we have uh, separated the departments using the, the white uh, background color inside uh, each color in every flow. So what I'll do is just to name, give the naming to each department and at least, uh, you know, villains. Let's say in the first flow we had the villain 10, 20 and 30. Second floor we had uh, 30, 40, 50 and 60 and so and so forth. So I'll give a department name. So as you can see we have managed to name all the departments and uh, the respective villains. For example management villain, management, villain 10, research, villain 20 and so on and so forth. So what's remaining here is just to start the configuration of which we'll do in the next part of this project, part 3 of the project. Remember part 1 of the project we managed to visualize the topology using Microsoft Vision and now this part is to design the topology using Cisco Packet Tracer so in the next part we are going to start configuration where we are going to configure these technologies okay we are going to configure SSH, DCP server basic settings, VLANs we are going to do subnetting, port security and so on and so forth So. So it's a good idea that uh, we should print the design so that you can see it in a picture form. We can print this topology here. So I'll just click on this button here which is to print so that you can see it in a picture form. Then you go to print to file and uh, let's take it to my desktop file or rather just a go to tech projects. Okay. And I'll say this is P5 project 5 and uh, save all right so project 5 is here where is it does not come yet mm, just a minute here is project 5 as you can see this is what we have just designed using cisco packet tracer it's looking beautiful here on picture form so this is what we can use to paste on our documentation part or to send uh, even make as our thumbnail when uploading YouTube okay all right so the next time we meet we'll start configuring from the access layer then we move to distribution layer and finally the core layer okay and uh, as you can see here on our diagram here this is the core layer distribution layer and here and finally we have the access layer here and on the right side also so we start from the access layer distribution layer and the core layer following all the requirements that we've been asked to consider okay all these technologies VLAN, port security 
SSH, DCP server, etc. etc. Okay, so guys, basically, that will mark the end of this video. So guys, please subscribe to our channel, stay tuned, click on the bell icon so that you will be notified when we upload uh, the next part of this project. Bye, and see you again in part 3 of the Enterprise Networking Project 5. Thank you.